The Oregon Department of Transportation's $43 million freeway construction project on Interstate 84 in eastern Oregon will result in a lot of improvement when it's completed in 2016. Between La Grande at milepost 260 and the Camella Interchange at exit 246, the project will rebuild the freeway surfaces, repair bridges, enhance chain-up sites, add a third westbound truck lane at Spring Creek grade, and construct other safety improvements. To safely accommodate construction activities, travel is restricted to one lane in each direction through the work zones that stretch for several miles. Because eastbound and westbound traffic, along with concrete barriers, are combined onto one freeway, there is no room for shoulders. Narrow lanes, big trucks, and no shoulders means it's too dangerous for bicycle riders to travel through the work zones. Bicycles are restricted in this area between the spring and fall of 2014 and 2015. Numerous signs posted along the freeway advise eastbound bike riders to leave the interstate at exit 216 near the Arrowhead truck stop six miles east of Pendleton. Westbound cyclists are directed to take exit 261 at Legrand. From there, they have two choices to get around the restricted construction area. Posters displayed at rest areas and brochures located in weatherproof holders on bicycle detour signs point the path to both options and provide additional information. The brochures are also available at bike shops in the area and online at www.tinyurl.com slash o.-region5. Those up for the challenge can opt to ride the 80 mile long bicycle detour along Oregon Highways 204 and 82. This course includes steep inclines, narrow shoulders, and truck traffic as riders travel through the small communities such as Tollgate, Elgin, and Imbler. Riders should be prepared for some beautiful but challenging terrain. A more convenient way to get through the construction zone is to hop on the free kayak shuttle bus that runs between the Arrowhead truck stop and the Grand. Bike space is limited, so riders should contact the shuttle service in advance for scheduled times and bike rack availability. Whether you decide to ride the bicycle detour route or take the shuttle option, ODOT wishes you safe and happy trails.